So a lot of people, when they see a weld like this on the edge of this uh, 090 aluminum, they'll think, yo, you know, someone's trying to show off. Uh, when I see something like this, this is actually what I, I like to start beginners on. Um, maybe not start them on it. I'll have them do some pad work. If I'm teaching somebody, I'll do some pad work with them, do a couple butt welds. But I like to have new students for me start running edge welds because what this does is it teaches you torch control. It teaches you really fine foot pedal control and it teaches you how to just barely touch your filler rod in. So I'm going to show you guys some common mistakes when trying to run an edge weld and then how I run an edge weld on this 090 aluminum. So maybe you guys can practice it and try to up your skill just a little bit. All right, so today we're running the, the new Typhoon 230. I'm not gonna dive into all the, the deep settings, but we're running pedal, high frequency start, 101 amps. This is about double what I'm actually gonna use. We did a little test run earlier, running about 48, 49 amps. We're set to 201 hertz and 35% balance. That's all we're really gonna focus on as far as settings. Nothing else really matters for this, but I like to start people about double what they need. So they still have quite a bit of travel. They can't just flat foot it at you know, 48 amps and go along like that. So 101 amps, high frequency to keep that arc tight. And then balance is kind of inconsequential for this. You could run 25 to 40, but 35 is what I like. So. Let's head over to the table and let's make a couple runs. So as a practice exercise, the three things that this really helps you with that I think are important, it's gonna really make you watch your arc length. You start arcing out, your arc's gonna get unstable, it's gonna melt this edge away. So keeping a consistent, tight arc length. Obviously your amperage control, because we're running 090, and I'm running a 332nd, you know, or 090 filler rod. So my filler rod is as wide as my, my base metal. So this is gonna teach you tight arc length, good foot control, you know, being real stable as you move, and then also really tight filler rod control. So it, it's kind of emphasizing all the key factors into one exercise. All right, so we're gonna do a couple bad runs. The first one we're gonna do, it's kind of the, the main mistake I see, you know, beginners make is they'll flat foot hard into it and they're, they're losing control with the foot pedal. Their foot's all over, up and down, up and down. So we'll make a run like that. That way, if you're kind of having these results, you can kind of, you can kind of compare it with this run. Here we go. So you can see on this run, the height of our weld bead is a lot lower than when we started. They're running way too much amperage. You know, I kind of long arced it and show you that it just starts really melting the material away. That ups your voltage as you go up in torch height. So it really starts melting that material away quickly. On this next run, we're going to go way too cold because we're afraid of the amperage. We're not trying to use all the pedal. We're just going to go into it real easy. So that'll be this run, kind of going on the opposite side, being too, too cold and afraid of the amperage. You see, I'm not having enough amperage to melt my filler rod in. You get all stringy. It's not wanting to melt in at all. It's just sitting right on top. So this is one reason why I like to set the machine at about double the amperage I need. You set it too low, and you're, you're really trying to be super careful. You know, you're not using enough amperage to even get this filler rod to melt in properly. See, it's really sitting on top of here. It was super stringy on the arc shot. It was kind of melting the filler rod. It was pulling it away. So it wasn't really melting it in. So this is the other, kind of two extremes. I either see people run way too hot and flat foot it, or they try to get way too cold because they're afraid of the amperage. So before I show you guys how to properly run one of these edge welds, I'm gonna show you running at the correct amperage, but long arcing. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna, it's gonna start melting the filler rod before we can actually get it onto the plate. We're still gonna run a pretty decent little edge well, but you're gonna see it's real chunky. It's got a lot of peaks and valleys to it. It's not the real tight, you know, nice uniform bead we want. So let's check that out real fast. 
So you can see we did get this nice edge weld. We weren't, you know, the filler rod was melting in a little bit. We didn't burn down. We're at the same height as when we started. But you can see it's very chunky, very ropey. And that's because that filler rod was kind of melting off before we got it to the puddle and was just kind of dropping into the puddle and setting on top. We didn't have that real nice tight, you know, real nice tight bead like that. So now we're gonna make a proper run at the right amperage, the right torch height, and the right amount of filler. All right, so here we made a pretty nice run on this edge weld. <clears throat> we maintained a very nice, consistent torch height. I got a, my filler got stuck a couple times, but I'm human. But for the most part, it's a very uniform bead. I picked up my travel speed and my amperage down here at the end a little bit to show you that it's, you don't have to just barely dap it in. You can go up on amperage and work on fast feeding your filler in there. This is also really good um, practice on your terminations. You can see my termination here is still at the same height as the rest of the bead. It didn't, you know, arc or peak up. It didn't sink down from adding too much amperage and not enough filler. So that's why I really think this is a super good training technique for guys starting out. It, it kind of focuses everything in one you know, really nice uh, practice run. And if you set up a fillet weld like this, you can you know, run this top edge, side edge, side edge. You can even run these. So you can get almost two feet of weld out of this one little two by four coupon. And then you can still go back through and practice some fillet welds after you're done. So now we've shown you guys a couple bad runs and a pretty decent run, I guess. You know, as you're, as you're out in your shop and if you're just beginning and you're practicing, you know, you're running bead after bead and you're doing pad work, think about doing something like this for a couple runs. It'll really help you focus on your pedal control, your torch stability, and that fine, you know, fine tune adjustment of your, uh, your filler rod. So just kind of check back with these if you've got one of these, uh, these bad runs, kind of think about what you're doing Really pay attention to it and see if you can get a nice little edge weld like that. I'm Jesse McCollum for Everlast Welders. Remember, weld mean, weld green.